When we are thinking about Rio de Janeiro, we all think about the famous beaches like Copacabana and Ipanema. Those are very typical, with people doing all kinds of activities and the vibe is just great. It's because of Rio's excellent location that it offers all these beaches in and all around the city. But what many people don't consider is visiting other beach cities around Rio. The Região dos Lagos is an area with very popular cities, used as weekend destinations by locals. Those cities are only a two or three hour drive from the capital. The cities in the area offer amazing beaches and great atmosphere. That's why having a car gives you more flexibility to explore the places, but it's also possible and very easy to reach those cities by bus, departing from the main bus terminal in Rio. We will show you today three cities that you will for sure include on your next trip to Rio de Janeiro. Those are Cabo Frio, Arraial do Cabo and Búzios. Cabo Frio is the main city in the lakes region and the closest to Rio from the tree. It is very touristic and is the biggest city in the region. You can choose to stay a weekend in Cabo Frio and enjoy the different beaches there. Or you can use it as your base for day trips to the other cities around. There are many apartments for rent in and around the city, so finding that should not be a problem. The city itself has everything you need. Big supermarkets, a mall, an old town center, and the beaches, of course. So we are now in Cabo Frio, here in the center. Here is a city uh, really close to Rio, like two hours, two and a half hours. Um, we have the beach around, it's in the coast. It's really nice to come with your family or as a couple of friends for the weekend, for a few days. You can find everything here, it's, it's just amazing. You have the beach and you can do some boat tours. And it's also really close to other cities here. The times we were there, we focused on Praia do Forte a beautiful beach with blue water and white sand. It is busy there, especially during the weekends and during the summer, but it is worth a visit. You will find many restaurants and bars on the waterfront, and in the evenings there is a market there. You can eat some snacks, buy some souvenirs and things like that. Praia do Forte is the fourth beach here in Cabo Frio. There is a fort right there in the back. This beach is always busy, but the water is beautiful. You can see the day is not even that sunny. It's not even the nice day and the water is just amazing. Here you don't find that many tourists from outside of Brazil, but it's a very popular place for Brazilians. Um, they come, they travel to Rio, they come to this place. Even people that live in the city of Rio, they come here also for the weekends or for holidays. There are some other beaches in the city, like Praia do Foguete, where we were last time. It is more quiet, but very popular for surfing due to the waves. If you drive 20 minutes from Cabo Frio, you will arrive in Areal do Cabo. There you will find some of the most beautiful beaches from Brazil. The city itself is not very developed, but maybe that's why the beaches are so beautiful. You don't see that much of human intervention. So the nature is preserved and creates beautiful scenery. There are eight beaches in the city, all very beautiful. You can choose to stay in one of the easily accessible ones, but be aware that you will find many people there especially during the weekends. But you can also choose to go to the most remote ones with difficult access. To get to those beaches, you have to take a boat 
or a trail or even stairs. We have to say that those are the most beautiful ones surrounded by nature. We have been to Pontal do Atalaia, which is for sure a paradise. To access the beach, you have to go by car and then go more than 200 steps on the stairs down. Another option is arriving by boat from other beaches. The place is an unforgettable beauty. Very busy, it's very busy, so let's go on. <laughs> We have several of these beaches. Look at the mountains, so beautiful. It doesn't uh, get much, much better than this. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful water. Uh, it's like the Caribbean the color, but um, yeah, it's just a bit colder, I think. Cold. You should come here maybe in the summer. Might be a tip. It will be, will be nicer, also busier, but it is uh, it's very nice. I'm going to swim now. Whoa, this wave almost took me and my phone. But, uh, so I'm going to put it away now. So we just came out of the beach here and as you can see it's not even a beautiful sunny day but it was still a nice experience and a beautiful uh, view. So we're now going back to Cabo Frio. There are also some other beaches in Arraial but yeah our time is too short so we chose maybe the best one that is this one here but once you come here you can enjoy and see three, four beaches, you can do a whole tour and enjoy them all. If you want to visit all the beaches in Arraial, you can take a boat trip. There are tour operators everywhere. This way you can enjoy all the main spots, spend some time at the beaches, and if you're going on a big group, you can even rent a private boat. It is an amazing way of spending a day. Bourges is the city that attracts the most international tourists. Here you might hear more Spanish than Portuguese, I have to say. Very popular among people from Argentina and Chile, Bourges is considered a very romantic place, especially in the evenings. With more than 20 beaches, Bourges is overall more expensive, but you can find things for all budgets. You can enjoy staying in one of the many posadas, which is a name for guest house, around the city and now and then mix it with a dive in the sea. In the evening, make sure to visit Ruas das Pedras, the most famous area in bushes. It is full of restaurants and shops. The atmosphere is great. You can walk along the shore, take a drink, or just enjoy the vibe there. Believe me, you won't find many more romantic places than there. Besides that, you will also find many nightclubs and parties to enjoy all night long. We went to Cabo Frio and we went to uh, Arraial, which are three places in this area which you can all visit. We took uh, three days for that. It's a little bit on a tight side, but uh, it's possible to see enough. Uh, it's really nice, it's a really nice experience. Once you are in Rio and you have more than a week or a week or longer, it's definitely a must to do that, to experience a little bit extra. If you like this video, of course, don't forget to subscribe, give a like, thumbs up, 
and of course share the video with friends, family, people who are interested in traveling and uh, see you in the next video.